Today we are going to be doing a morph transition that is going to be designed for a short or a reel. So let's head over to Canva and I'll show you how to do this. So the first thing we want to do is set up our background that we're going to kind of keep stable. So I'm going to go in to elements. What I did is I just got a shape. Now you can make these as fancy and highfalutin as you want to. Um, we'll duplicate that. Even though this is just the base of the design. Oh, these, let's get this gray off of here. It is not pretty. Let's pick some pretty colors, y'all. Um, let's do this, but I don't want it that way. Let's go this way. There we go. That's a little bit better. And then we'll take this one and do the same, but we're going to flip it. Oh, yeah. Let's get that. And then what we're going to do next is grab our text. So I'm just going to grab some random text. I'm not going to get all fancy with it. Um, hugs and kisses, y'all. And... So I've got my base going, so I want to center that up a little bit. And then it just looks really out of center here. Position. Let's arrange the hugs and kisses. Center. There we go. It still doesn't look just because of that plus sign move, but you know. This is just for technique. So next what we want to do, now that we've got our backing that we want, how we want our back, we're going to go and start getting our elements. So what are we going to do is set up our page. So what I want to do next is I'm going to come over to elements and I use uh, the cherry. And we're getting text. I think I used, we'll do uh, this. Let's just use this text little thing here. And then ungroup. And then I'm going to put here, I'm going to put cherry. And then for this, well, that can, can I make that bold? Let's see. Where are you at? Right here. Let's go to a bold and see if that'd be a little bit better. And we're going to put it under here. And I'm just going to leave the will you be mine there because I am not trying to make it anything spark smarkular. And then I'm going to line it up the way I want to. Oh, no, no, don't you do that to me. I think I'm going to use my arrow keys a little bit to get that lined up the way I want it to look. So I'm going to pull these off the pages. If your line is very close, make sure you got space on each side of these because we're going to pull them off and you need some uh, blank space. If your word is very close, so let's say I take this and shrink that down like that and it's like that, you're going to want to put spaces. So you want to want to go like this and go space, space. Come here. Come on, baby. Work with me. Hold on. Don't do that. Oh, let me. It's being mean here. Why are you being mean? So I'm going to put that space there. That way when I pull, I want it to go off the other side too. So I got space there and space there, see? And then I'm going to pull that over like so once I got it lined up. I'm going to bump on my arrow keys. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to position just to make it easier. I'm going to grab that one, hit my control key, grab that one, see both of them are highlighted. I'm going to group them and that is going to be my cherry. So now make sure your cherry and your cherry really doesn't have to be your first item doesn't have to be this size because if you want to make it look a little more dynamic, um, say you want to see if you try to pull this off the page, there's no blank spot. So let's do the workaround for that. So the workaround for that is I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so y'all can see what I'm going to do is I'm going to just duplicate that and I'm only pulling it off from this side. So whatever, Say you want to put it at like this angle and come in. So make sure that you know you got some room at the top. You need a blank space. So what I'm going to do is take the transparency down to zero. I'm going to take that cherry, hit the control key, highlight that cherry, and then I'm going to group them together. 
So now when I go to pull that cherry off to bring it on, see now I got a, that purple line stays on here. If you take that all the way off and you let go, that cherry is gone forever. So that's why you need to make that little. Because Canva doesn't let us use the white space over here. And I, hopefully that is coming at some point. That way we can just take the elements and, and leave them over here. And then we can drift them onto the page. But until that day comes, y'all, it's just not. So I got my cherry here. And I got my words here. But I got two more items I want to use, or how many ever. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to ungroup these. And then I'm going to duplicate this one because I have a kiwi. And I'm not going to change the bottom one because I'm just trying to show process. And then I also have a duplicate. I have a strawberry. Two hours. There we go. And then I'm going to just duplicate this one. And I will duplicate it again and put it under strawberry. And check your strawberry. See how just that and the strawberry is close? So what I want to do is I want to put a space or two in front. Let me stretch that out. Like so and give it space behind. That way I can pull it on and off the page. And then... I'm going to line them up. I'm going to go back in. Come on, baby. I'm going to group. I'm going to take the kiwi. And will you be my and group? And then I'm going to take this last one here. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to group these two. Group. So then you're going to line them up. So there's my center mark here. And I want to come in the center mark. So that will give me my um, directional. So when I pull them off, because I don't have steady hands, it's going to be retarded when I pull it off because I'm a goofball like that. So let's go over here, pull them off. And now my words are ready. So now I just got to get the rest of my fruit. So let's go back into elements, recently used, and find my other two fruits. As you can see, I have been doing a lot of experimenting. So my fruits are way down here somewhere. There's my other two fruits. There's my kiwi. There's my strawberry, so we can move that off. And then what you're going to do, I think I'm going to duplicate that strawberry. And I am going to make that invisible. And then I'm going to go into position, and I am going to group my two strawberries together. Control, control, group. And I'm going to do the same thing with my kiwi, because they're kind of tight on the edge. And I'm going to make that one invisible. And then I'm going to highlight the other kiwi. And I'm going to group. And then you're going to sit there and you're going to take them at, you want them to come in on an angle. We're going to go here. And if you want to like make them small and then come in and grow, we can do that too. So we'll do that. We'll do that with the kiwi and the strawberries so you can see it. And we'll leave the cherries at regular size. So we'll do a little live action experimentation. All right, so now I have my setup. So I've got my first frame. I've got everything that I want to come in, coming in. It. So now we're going to go to our next page. So I'm going to duplicate this page here. And our first thing is going to be the cherry. So I'm going to go over to my, my positions over here. And I'm going to grab my cherry. I'm going to put it where I want it and size it where I want. So like if you're doing clothes or makeup, Whatever your product is, you can do that. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go here and I'm going to grab my cherry. And then I'm going to bring it in. And I'm going to cherry. Be mine. And that will be your first one. And then you're going to duplicate the page. What you're going to do is you're going to take your cherry. You're going to reduce the size. You're going to bring it down here. And you're going to make them whatever size you want to to fit down here. And once you make them, you might want to test drive for... I don't know how many products. If you're doing three, that you have enough space down here to put three. And then once that's done, all you're going to do is you're going to take cherry, move cherry over, move cherry, and then you're going to bring in your, I think cherry went up a little bit. And then we're going to grab our next item. Let's grab uh, the kiwi, just because we don't want a different uh, two reds back to back. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to grab 
the kiwi and bring that in. I'm going to go grab my animated, my uh, actual kiwi. I'm going to spin it around. I might take my kiwi a little bit lower because it's going to go, once I make it bigger, this is the ones we made small. And uh, maybe I'm going to drop that down here. And you can also have your uh, text bouncing anywhere you want to. It doesn't have to stay and come across. Like if you want to, you can experiment and throw kiwi up here and throw kiwi down here. You can do that. So it's really up to you. You are the mastermind. I'm just showing you the technique on how to do this. So now that we're done with Kiwi, we're going to take, oh, we duplicated the page. And then we're going to take the Kiwi off. We're going to take this Kiwi down. Stick it down here. And then we're going to go get our friend Strawberry. So Strawberry comes in. Maybe we want to put strawberry down here because strawberries are kind of big. And then we take strawberries and then we whip them around like so. You can put them any uh, direction you want to. You can keep them in anything. And then when you're done with that one and you got the placement the way you want to, you can just duplicate the page. And then what you're going to do is take your strawberry off. Have your strawberry come down. And then what you can do is you can duplicate the page again. And then what I did is you can just bring them all up. And or you can do whatever you want for the last page. But I'm just bringing them all up. Spin them around a little bit, making them bigger, and bring my hugs and kisses down. And if you need to, we'll change the position on the kiwi. We want the kiwi behind the hugs and kisses, so you can see hugs and kisses, and oh, we can make the hugs and kisses grow like so. So now that we got everything done and in place, what I want to do is now as I want to do my transition. So I'm going to go into my first transition box right here. I'm going to put match and move. I'm going to turn it all the way up. And then what I want to do is apply it between all the pages. And then I want to set my timing. I'm going to start at two seconds. So we're going to put two in there and enter. And it says 2.4, which I don't like when it does it because it never does what you want it to. But we're going to do two again and it probably do 2.1, which is way better. So and then we'll do, cut it off, cut it on. And everybody's at 2.1. Now you can go through and adjust the uh, match and move to make it go faster, slower, whatever you want to do right in here. So if you want your transitions to pop in real faster, you can cut this down or shave some of the timing off. It's up to you. Play around. Make it your own. So now we're going to play it through and see what it looks like. So like for that last one, I might take that and take the match and move and make it that a little bit faster and take that last page and tighten it up a little bit and make that faster. So we'll look and see what that looks like. What in the world just happened there? Everything kind of moved. Okay. See, so that looks a little bit better because now it's like it goes down and boom. So that's just one way to do this morph transition. Like I said, you can do it and you can have them all coming in kind of sideways. We'll go up here to like the cherry. So if you want to, you can like have them all come in on that sideways angle and come down and look like they're all swooping down. Or you can just do them any way you want to. Um, if you want one coming off this side, one coming off this side, do the same thing. Pull one off this side and have it swoop down. Pull it this side. You want them pick a boo in and coming from behind here, just have one put the position, put that behind the banner, this banner, like so. And then you can have a transition where there is, it'll pop down below this, and then they'll, you can have them drop and then disappear if you want to. So, 
And if you want to stick around and play with that real quick, we can do that real quick. Let's go. Let's make a duplicate of this first one since we got everything on here. This is extra. This is this is like a different design. So what we're going to do, let's take all our fruits and move them over here. And what we're going to do is take our fruits. So I'm going to go control, grab fruit, grab fruit. So now I got them all and I'm going to pull them all down behind here. So now they're all, they're going to be behind all of this. So now I'm going to just take them up here. Well, I'm going to carefully take them up there to make sure that I have purple on the page. That I have purple on the page. And not scoot them off and then be like, where did it go? So now I can do this. I can duplicate the page. And if you want to, I'll, we'll grab the strawberry, pull the strawberry down. And if you want it kind of like having a little spin to it, coming down, come here. And then we'll, you can grab the strawberry and have that coming up on an angle like so. And that'll look like that. And that'll be like, boom. And then you can duplicate the page and then you'll have this come out. And if you want to, you can have the strawberry. Take strawberry and put that behind these. And then the strawberry can actually fall behind here if you want to like that. And then that'll look like this. It'll come down, up, strawberry, and both of them will fall underneath. But if you're going to do, if you're going to do the words underneath, so... As you can see here, you can see the strawberry kind of fade back there. That's kind of cool, but if not, just move all these behind. And then on this one, make sure all of them are behind here. And then it shouldn't do that. And then if we look at it, it goes and it disappears. And that's just another trick you can do. Just play around with it. You can do a lot of cool things with angles and stuff coming in. All you have to do is just get in there and play. Match and move. The main thing you really need to understand is when you do any of these is make sure if you're pulling them off the page to use them that you have this space available to pull the whole image off and keep this purple box on there. Like I said, if you pull this box all the way off and I let go, it's gone forever. So as soon as I click, now let's go in my position. I bet strawberries are gone. There is no strawberries. And now if I go back, my strawberries are back. It's because I got my strawberries. I took my strawberries off completely off the page. For some reason, they're still right there. Kind of weird. Use, But if I click on the page, look like that, I go in a position, my strawberries are gone. So I, you lose your strawberries. So... Just a piece of advice, and that's why you have to do that trick. But that's how you do this morph, and I hope you make her beautiful, creative, wonderful things like I know you will. I will see you on the next tutorial. I love you guys. Bye, y'all.